Hope you enjoyed that. Here's a quick rundown of how the jack-o'-lantern scene was built. The pumpkin started out as a UV sphere with beveled edges around the sides of it. Proportional editing was used on the top and the bottom of the pumpkin to give it the shape that we'd expect from it. The face was cut out using the knife tool for the eyes and the mouth. The texture of the pumpkin was taken off the internet and tweaked a little bit. Here's the material that was used. The grass was built off a plane with a hair particle system and a soft body modifier. 50,000 hairs were used with a 0.1 meter length and a Brownian physics force of 0.15 to give it the grass shape. A simple green texture was used for the grass color. I had to delete all of the hairs from the particle system that could be seen from the outside that kind of waved inside the pumpkin and that was done by hand. That's why you see some of the grass cleared in the back of it. The candle is a uh, flickering light that has a noise modifier keyframe for the first part of the video. The fog scene is done in a gas domain with 128 resolution divisions and a keep the gas at a graveyard fog, a buoyancy density of 0 0.001 and a heat of 0.1 were used. The emitter is a, just a plane pumping the smoke out as fog and then to keep it moving along there's a, a wind force coming out of a cylinder with a small strength of 0.25 and a noise of 0.015 and a slight down angle of uh, 1.4 degrees off to keep it rolling along and on the ground. This took a little over three days to render and when you put it all together you get wind constantly blowing the flickering candlelight for the first part reflecting off the darkened scenes grass then the graveyard fog rolling in over the grass and the pumpkin. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like or any comments or questions and thanks for watching. This was just an overview and not a tutorial but happy to answer any questions.